Good morning, Calvary. You're on with Pastor Hosea from Calvary Baptist Church of Hawthorne, California. Our daily devotional for this week, as we're still dealing with crisis management, we're focusing on freedom from fear. We're focusing on that all week. Freedom from fear. Now, to dive right in, today's particular devotional scripture is coming from Isaiah chapter 41, verses 10 through 14, and I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. And it reads as follows. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. See, all your angry enemies lie there, confused and humiliated. Anyone who opposes you will die and come to nothing. You will look in vain for those who try to conquer you. Those who attack you will come to nothing. For I hold you by your right hand. I, the Lord your God, and I say to you, do not be afraid. I am here to help you. Though you are lowly warm, O Jacob, do not be afraid, people of Israel, for I will help you. I am the Lord, your Redeemer. I am the Holy One of Israel. I want to focus today on the topic, don't be afraid. God says to us, don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. Now, the fact that he tells us that, it lets me know being afraid is actually a choice. Because if it wasn't a choice, how could he tell us to not be afraid? By him telling me to choose to not be afraid, it lets me know it is within my power. But it's often based on perspective. It's often based upon what we go through. It's often based upon how we view the situation. Because watch what he said. Because in this scriptural reference, he tells us how to not be afraid. Watch this. He says... Don't be afraid, for I am with you. So a way to not be afraid is to be consciously aware, wait a minute, God is with me in this. I'm not in this alone. God is right here with me. See, this is the reason, for, one of the reasons for Jesus' rebuke over the disciples when they woke him up during the storm when he was asleep, saying, don't you care that we're going to die? Wait, what do you mean, don't I care that we're going to die? Jesus is like, aren't I on this boat with you? Do you think I'm going to sit here and die? That I came for this? No, I am with you. The fact that I am with you should give you some resolve to what you're going through. You're acting like you're alone right now. Don't be afraid. Why not? Because I, your Lord, your God, your creator, I'm right here with you. And if God be for you, who could dare be against you? He says, don't be afraid for I am with you. Then he says, don't be discouraged for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you with my right hand. He said, don't get discouraged. Why? I'm right here. I'm going to strengthen you. Even if you feel weak, I'm going to uphold you. Even if you feel like you, can, you can't stand, my right hand will hold you up. And he gets even deeper. He says, my victorious right hand will hold you up. Then he goes to tell him, see all your enemies that come against you, those that attack you, I'm going to deal with them. I am here to help you. And even if you have low self-esteem, he said, Jacob, you may see yourself as a warm, as something that's so insignificant, Israel. But even if you are, don't be afraid. Why? Because I, your Redeemer, are here to assist you. And I won't let you fail. So to get rid of fear, I want you to meditate on this today. God is with you. And if he be for you, who can be against you? Fear and being afraid is like acknowledging or saying, God, I don't know if you're enough. Woo. I don't know if you can handle what I'm going through. I don't know if this is bigger than you. Be reminded, he is with you. So don't be afraid because then you make it bigger than him. And that's never a true statement. God bless you until tomorrow. Don't be afraid.
Thank you again for joining us. I pray that that word really blessed your life. And if it did, why don't you share it with someone else that you know could be blessed or helped by it. Let us share God's goodness so that all of us can grow and be victorious as God has ordained us to be. If you didn't do it earlier, please click that subscribe button and also click that notification link so you will be updated when new content is coming. And if you desire to support this ministry, you can click on that Give Lafay link, search Calvary Baptist Church of Hawthorne and continue to support God's work. We thank you. We love you and can't wait to see you again next time.